remove anything that could get in your way. And then I like to take painter's tape and put some random pattern on the mirror. Some people do grids, some people do strips, and this will help catch any broken glass if you get to that point and you flex the mirror too much. Take your shim and wedge it behind any part of the mirror. I started out with the top corners, one on the left and one on the right, and then I just slowly worked my way down and pushed those shims in more and more and added more shims on the left and right. I then started to take the mirror and gradually pull it away from the wall, leveraging the shims, because if you pull too hard on one spot, you may crack the mirror. The beauty with shims are that they're normally made out of the soft wood, they won't damage your wall, and if your mirror spans from wall to wall, you can utilize the space above the mirror and get longer, bigger shims to slowly pry that mirror off the wall without risking cracking or ruining your mirror. Continue using your shims, pulling the mirror away from the wall gently, and once that mirror does pop off, make sure you have something or someone taking the weight of the mirror at the bottom, and now you're done.